there. I'm Liv. And I'm JJ. And we're both Florida, Florida Master, Master Naturalists in Training. training. Hmm, but Liv, what is a Florida Master Naturalist exactly? Well, JJ, a Florida Master Naturalist is a person who is knowledgeable about the ecosystems in Florida and promotes awareness, understanding, and respect for Florida's natural world. Hmm, so that must mean that in this video we'll be exploring a variety of coastal habitats, such as mangroves, coral reefs, and seagrasses? That's right, JJ. So sit back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. Here we are at Ann Colb Nature Center, which exhibits 1,500 acres of mangrove wetlands. Very few areas such as this one exist because they are under threat from the most successful predator on the planet, humans. <gasps> Why would these monsters do such a horrible thing? One answer. Coastal development. Don't they realize that getting rid of this natural storm buffer encourages erosion and destroys nursery habitats? Wow, aren't mangroves something? They sure are something. Tell me more about these somethings. Okay. Well, as a salt exuder, the black mangrove leaves actually taste like salt and can be easily identified by their pneumatophores, also known as snorkel roots. What are they doing? What? I said, what other kind of mangroves are there? The white mangrove doesn't have a visible root system, but has unique leaves. The red mangrove is probably the most well-known. They are easily identified by their tangled, reddish roots called prop roots. What kind of animals live there? Well, JJ, some natives include birds like the ibis, the yellow-crowned night heron, and raptors, which prey on different species of fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and insects. But live? How do all of them survive with all of these predators? Well, JJ, a common species called the checkered puffer has the ability to inflate its body by swallowing water. It is also toxic if consumed. Golly, I sure wouldn't want to eat one. Another species called mangrove crabs usually feed on branches, making them vulnerable. If threatened, they drop to the ground in an attempt to scurry back into their holes. Do you want to grab it? <laughs> ah, that feels weird. Okay. Ah, I'm a scientist. Well, I think I've had quite enough of mangroves, or at least the crabs. Yeah. So maybe it's a good time to transition into another portion of this video. You know, it was pretty sweaty work being outside in the mangroves. Mm-hmm. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Ice coral cream! Reefs. I mean... Yeah, coral reefs. Uh. Anyway... Coral reefs are believed to have the highest biodiversity of any habitat on the planet. Although there are many more, some organisms include different species of fish, sharks, stingrays, worms, jellyfish, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and corals. Holy macaroni! That sure is a lot of animals! It sure is! Coral reefs are home to about 25% of marine life. However, coral reefs only inhabit 0.2% of the ocean. Where are all the corals going? Disney World! Really? No. They're all dead. Who killed them all? Ultimately, humans. Mara! Well, not exactly. There are numerous factors that contribute to the overall health of coral reefs. When corals become stressed, they kick out the microscopic algal organisms called zooxanthellae that live inside them, which provide them with nutrients and oxygen. What do corals have to be stressed out about? current events. <laughs> oh, sit over there. Get 
Okay. Come on. Okay. The removal of these organisms results in coral bleaching and the eventual death of the corals. I'm ready to come back now. Just hold on. I won't tell any more jokes. Do you promise? Uh-huh. Okay, fine. You can talk about seagrasses when I'm done. Okay. The corals are actually put under stress due to human actions such as atmospheric, land, and water pollution contributing to increased water temperature, which stresses out the coral. Are you done? Not yet. Oh, come on! Fine, go ahead. All right. Coral reef habitats are dependent on the health and presence of seagrass beds. This is because they are important nursery habitats for coral reef species. They also cycle nutrients and stabilize sediments by having their root systems hold sand in place. The environment provides shelter and food for different organisms that live and feed there, such as fish, crustaceans, shellfish, turtles, manatees, and some seabirds. Aren't manatees endangered? They sure are. All five species of sea turtles found in Florida are also endangered. What's happening to all of their populations? You see, manatees on average are hit by 15 boats in their lifetime. Turtles are also commonly hit by boats. Yeesh. Wait, aren't turtles vertebrae connected to their shells? They are indeed. The boats can cause severe damage to their spines. Bubbles may also form in their shells after being hit, preventing them from diving to feed or escaping predators. This phenomenon is generally referred to as bubble butt syndrome. The boats also harm seagrass beds by tearing up their roots. This can destroy entire habitats. You know what else harms these habitats? Humans! <laughs> well, not entirely. There are many anthropogenic effects, including floating pollution, which decreases sunlight penetration, and runoff from urban and agricultural areas, which bring pesticides, herbicides, household chemicals, oils, automotive chemicals, animal waste, and other debris. But natural storms may break or uproot seagrasses. Hmm. You know, there sure are a lot of anthropogenic factors disturbing coastal environments. Maybe we should do something to help. But what? Hmm. Well, JJ, not only can we use this video to inspire our viewers, but we can also follow these simple tips. Hmm. So, first of all, don't litter. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? When you do see litter, please pick it up and dispose of it. Refrain from any direct contact with wildlife. Remove invasive species when possible, such as lionfish, coconuts, or tropical almonds. Follow boating regulations to protect organisms and habitats. Stands on golden sand and watches the ships that go And as always, reduce, reuse, and, and recycle. recycle.